Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, really stoked to bring you this awesome lesson. Good luck, but enough of my yapping. Let's zoom in and learn this tune. Here we go. All right, the intro is kind of interesting. I'm going to give you a couple different options. First thing I want to do is just tell you what the chords of the intro are. They're G minor, which is barred on the 10th fret there, and then an F major, whole step down, then a D minor, then a C major. Just two shapes. But there's also like a high note going on. You know, just on that high E string. So you could also go like this, play the triads, and the bass player can play the G, F, D, C, and then as a guitar player, or whatever you're playing, you can play this little G minor triad right here, 10, 11, and 12. And a whole step down, but it's 8, 10, 10, because it's a major chord. So you got G minor, F major triad. Then we're going to play that same minor triad, but now with the ring finger on the seventh fret, sixth fret, fifth fret, and that is a D minor triad. And then that same movement, a major shape, a whole step down here. So you got G minor, F, D minor, C, and then the second time. A minor, and you could play an A minor right there if you need to, or an A note open. Boom, rock. So a D chord, but mute that high E string there, you know, so you just don't hear it. And that gives you a D power chord, actually. So I go, oops, sorry, you kind of heard it. Then my middle finger is going to the third fret of the A string. call that a few uh, different things. So check it out, you know you got, oh sorry. So the same vibe, you're kind of muting that high E string. Then index finger, like that kind of thing. Same exact thing as that, but that finger now, and then a power chord on the first fret of the A string, third fret, third fret, so one, three, three, and that's a B flat, that note's B flat, B flat power chord up to C power chord. Let me explain something that I didn't learn in one sit-down guitar lesson, but it's another factor here, is that the, the low E string, 
it's pretty much getting muted the whole time. I'm not even thinking about it because I just slowly, a little bit at a, at a time, learned how to do that. And then it's just like a subconscious thing. But so for instance, when I'm playing the D chord, you know, my thumb just naturally kind of mutes it because I don't want to hear it. And then on this one and this one, I actually let my middle finger, the tip of it, kind of mute, mute up and touch it enough so where it doesn't ring out. Hear that? You know, I'm pressed on that note, but I'm letting it touch that, that E. These are just good guitar techniques, actually, to, to just be aware of. And on those power chords, too, the index finger is touching that top string enough so where it's not there. So the next section, and then that's really all you got, you said shredding solo, uh, you got C major, which you know, you can play any of these as power chords if you need to, to G major, you know, if you need to, and then B flat major, which I'm gonna play right here. <laughs> Probably the hardest bar chord. First fret bar and then ring fingers like a A major chord. So check it out. C to the G, then B flat down to A. C to the G. Where the B flat, C, C to D, dramatic tom drum beat. helpful.